okay guys welcome back so now we're gonna start working on the other sections the first thing I'm gonna create a div with a template class and in there I'm gonna have the image or the icon for now don't worry about it it's just like a, a placeholder what we want to display now however is the uh, the actual temperature and we're gonna use the h3 element just to look a little bigger of course you don't want to see a decimal places so I'm gonna be using uh, the, the pipe just to have no decimal places next i'm gonna work on this section here and i'm just gonna add uh, the degree symbol you can just copy it from uh, the website this div will uh, display some extra details and it will have two other divs inside it uh, the main So we can hear access to the uh, fields like from uh, the weather.now.main. Uh, the other information that we need we can access it through the uh, weather dot now weather now dot weather it's it's a different uh, property So in, in their website we have a lot of information but for for me I'm just gonna display only the humidity you can add as many or as much information in there as you want uh, for some reason I didn't get the other information displayed uh, this is because uh, the weather is actually an array and same as the temperature I'm just gonna use uh, the pipe number just to uh, get rid of the decimal places now this is uh, the timeline that I talked about earlier so we're gonna be having a uh, different forecast every three hours We're gonna loop through the uh, timeline uh, array that we created earlier and we will access to the properties that we had in there which was a time and temp this is uh, the pipe date which can be used to format your date just I'll be displaying the hour and the minute
if you don't understand the two zeros it means a minimum of zero and a maximum of zero we get uh, the result but uh, the style is little bit off so we can fix that by uh, changing the display property to grid and have a eight columns with each having a uh, three rim of size you can use pixel or any other unit that you want for the header one we're gonna be using uh, we're gonna uh, allocate a whole row for it so it doesn't conflict with the other ones okay now this works as we expected let's display uh, the icon now so it is a uh, an array it's uh, the icon is stored in the same array the weather uh, array but we also need to have the physical or the actual uh, fold or image in our asset folder the one we actually looking for now is 01 n the n stands for the night so it looks darker now we have the actual image in our images folder in the asset folder which we have access to in angular We can actually uh, access the asset folder directly without writing any uh, root file or and it is a PNG uh, extension it is actually stored in the image folder so let me just put there okay now we have it except that uh, the style is a little bit off so the best way to do this is to use a flex and center it okay this is it in the next uh, video we're gonna work on the future uh, section and this is how it's gonna be look like but before that let me just add a little style to our subclass just to have like a left border and some padding Okay, so see you in the next video.